Hi everyone, welcome back to Odoistic. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to install Docker on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Docker is a popular platform for building, deploying, and managing containerized applications. And Docker is an open source platform that helps developers build, deploy, and run applications inside containers. Think of a container as a lightweight, portable box that holds everything an application needs to run its code, dependencies, and system tools. These containers are consistent and isolated, meaning they run the same way no matter where you deploy them on your laptop or server or in the cloud. Docker makes applications portable, scalable, and more efficient. It is widely used for deployment, testing, and deployment in both small projects and enterprise systems. In short, Docker helps you build, ship, and run your applications anywhere, making development faster and more reliable. Right. So what we need to do, we can just go on any browser so far. Sorry, I'm just opening this browser first time. Okay, so we can go docker.io. And here, we just need to click on developers and then documentation. Then you can choose Docker engine and then install. Then we can click on Ubuntu. And here, everything is here. So before we install Docker, make sure we consider the following security implications and firewall incompatibilities. Then OS requirements. So to install Docker Engine, we need the 64-bit version of one of these Ubuntu versions. We have already installed Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. It's already there. Uh, we need to uninstall old versions. So before we can install Docker Engine, we need to uninstall any conflicting packages <clears throat> and for that command is here we can copy this command and we can use this here so in actual <clears throat> this will actually uninstall all the older packages and older versions of dockers which we don't need so let me just clear this and then we can go back there and before we install docker we can just check the docker version if it has been installed or not so as you can see sudo docker command not found so it means docker is not there so now we can um, install a fresh copy of docker on our system so we can go back on there and here we can start using these commands. So, which is the first one, sudo apt get update. We paste this command here. So, before starting, always ensure your system is up to date. Run the following command, press enter, and it will actually update the whole packages installed in Ubuntu. Then go back on the same website and we copy the second one. So this command is uh, installing the required packages, which we do. Then the next command. So this command is actually create a directory for Docker's CPG key, download the key, and set appropriate permissions. So this is the first one. And the last one is setting the permissions here. Press enter. That's it. Now, 
The next one is let's add Docker's repository to you, to our system. And we need to copy this. And paste it here. Okay. It has been added to our system. Now, again, before installing Docker, what we can do, we can just again updating our system. We can install sudo apt update. And go back to the website again, docker.io. So here, if you can see, latest version is this one. And specific version as well, if you want to install your specific version, uh, not the latest one. But the latest one is this one. We copy this by clicking it here. And go back on our terminal and paste this command here. So it will start installation. And it will ask, uh, do you want to continue? We say, oh, definitely, yes. So the process has been started in a few seconds it will be updated okay it's it's completed and now after that uh, we can verify that the installation is successful by running the hello world image but before that we can just check the version which for that let me just clear my terminal and the command i'm using is sudo docker version so as you can see the docker engine community version 27.3.1 has already been downloaded api version is 1.47 and then all other details are are there so now we just further retest by creating an image hello world so I paste that command here and press enter. So it's saying unable to find image hello world latest. But after that, it is creating that image. And now I will run another command, which is sudo docker images. And if I enter, you can see you can now manage Docker images and containers with these commands. But for managing, if you can see, there is already hello world is there, latest. Image ID is there. Uh, because this image was created 18 months ago, but we have just pulled it now. Then after that, there is another command which can be very useful, which is sudo docker container ls. So it will just tell us that all the running containers. So because our container is not running at the moment, that's why we cannot find anything. But there is another command, which is sudo docker container and ls hyphen a. And here we can see all the containers we can have. And in that container, if you see that container is exited about a minute ago, which is perfectly fine. Yes. And there is one container. So <clears throat> this is how we can install Docker in our Ubuntu system. Um, that's it. Docker is now installed and running on our Ubuntu 24.04 LTS machine. We are ready to explore containerization and deploy our applications, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Odoistic. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of your upcoming videos on Docker and other exciting technologies. Thanks for watching and you will see me in the next video. Thank you so much. Ta-da. Bye-bye.